Aoife Wilson, you've been playing Inside, which is Playdead's new game, uh, Makers of Limbo. How is yes, it? Yes, I have. Is I've um, I've actually finished it, but I, I was playing it on preview code, so I'm not actually sure how much that's going to change. Probably right. not very much, but um, yeah, it's... If you like, obviously, so as you say, it's from the creators of Limbo. It's very, very similar. I mean, if you walked in uh, to someone playing this and you've played Limbo before, you'd be like, oh, so it's a, I think they call it a 2.5 platformer, as in like it's a, a 2D platformer in a 3D environment. Yeah. So you can only move left to right. Like, it's beautiful. It's not uh, like Limbo in that it's not monochrome, but it may as well be. Mm-hmm. Like, it's. Uh, there are splashes of or very a very muted color here and there, um, so it's got because it's a it's a bit of a, like it's a bit of a diner basically like it's a game if you've seen any of the trailers, um, you play as a little boy and you're on the run from a kind of I mean you get a very Nazi esque vibe from it I think yeah um, in the beginning uh, so I mean that's really all you know you're you're kind of running from uh, from sort of horrible soldiers and um and dogs and and all the rest of it and it's quite you know it's it's very affecting in that like you know obviously you're you're a child um and all this horrible stuff is happening and it it kind of like it, you get a little bit of a of a downer about it after a while because it's just, it's so relentless in like horrible things but then again it's um there are, because I don't want to spoil it. There, like there are certain things that happen throughout the the story that, um, obviously, you know, pique your interest. You're like, what's going on here? Why are these guys here? What are they doing? You know, sure. you, you get hints here and there. And although I'm not going to say it's totally resolved by the end of the game, you do. It it kind of ends up um, asking more questions than it actually answers. <laughs> okay. It's certainly intriguing, though, from the looks of things. I mean, you know, it looks so atmospheric, and I, d- I do want to know kind of what's going on and why in the trailer people are kind of marching in step and they look almost brainwashed and stuff. Yes. Um, but how does it play out then in terms of the gameplay? Is it as puzzle-heavy as Limbo? Yes. Are, are they similar in the way they're articulated? In- incredibly similar, yeah. So um, you'll, you know, just like Limbo, you're quite a vulnerable being like you're just a kid and so you have to be smart about how you use your environment whether that's uh certain stealth sections where there are you know spotlights or or dog patrols or whatever that you have to stay out of sight while navigating the environment or um there are certain things um that are introduced later in the game if you remember the little like um the little like maggoty bug thing that happened Mm -hmm. that you had in limbo where it, it it sort of um played with your with how you controlled the game yeah. um, it, it sort of inverted your expectations on that there are similar controls here um, and yeah you it's it's quite clever actually that these things are gradually introduced um, and so you, you they will they it actually gets really hard towards the end like um, the the puzzles are, are they're definitely uh, they're definitely challenging but never never like exasperatingly so the one thing that I would say that this I felt missing from this um, mm-hmm. compared to Limbo was obviously Limbo. The spider was kind of the star of the show, right? Yeah. There's nothing uh, in, in Insight that, that kind of really fills that void, I suppose. There are obvi- there are some really quite uh, nasty um, enemies aside from, from soldiers, um, but they're never quite... You know, like, I don't know, the, the spider was just, it was so unique in that it was like this recurring enemy. It was like this just giant force of nature, I guess. That Yeah, yeah, um, fantastic. Yeah, and like, and so it, it, it really felt like a, a payoff when you actually, you know, tore all its legs off. <laughs> um, there's not really a, a comparable experience to that in Insight, but there are other things um, that, that, are, that are just really cool. Um, like uh, it plays with with gravity quite a lot. Um, oh, interesting. And so okay. yeah, like it gets. I mean, it it gets really sort of sci-fi towards the end. I, I hope that's not a spoiler. But um, there are, yeah, it just goes in a direction that I never expected to go in. Basically, mm-hmm. um, but there are some like there are some lovely little moments as well. Like uh, I guess it's a little bit like Schindler's List, and that the, the, there are certain tiny splashes of color that are that are sort of. Um, 
obviously supposed to draw your attention and right. like the first time that happens is you're you're going through a, a farm that has been abandoned it's horrible like they're they're you know dead animals all over the place and then as you as you go along these tiny little yellow chicks start following you and, and obviously that's the tiny it's like you know they're they're vulnerable tiny little things and you're like i can't protect them but they're following <laughs> you and you're just like it's it's heartbreaking but then it's these tiny little yellow dots in the darkness i guess um mm. that kind of just help to uh, to keep you going i think they certainly know how to make an atmospheric game though talking of you know deadly things i think a lot of the atmosphere uh of limbo was informed by how deadly it was you know you had like it was almost dreamlike but then yeah. Whenever you died, it, you know, if you were impaled on a spike or by the spider or whatever, yeah. then the sudden quiet and combined with the violence of your death, mm. it was it was weirdly poignant in a way that, you know, stuck with certainly with me for, for much of the game. Is is inside as deadly? Like, do those moments work as well? I, I guess it's similar in that, yes, there are there are certain really violent ways that you can meet your end, but it's it's more horrific and less kind of poignant really in that you know obviously in i think the poignancy in limbo came from you know you, you saw this tiny little corpse uh laid to rest where mm. probably nobody would ever find it whereas in uh inside like it sometimes it can be you know you're you're strangled by like by a soldier or oh, wow yeah or you're you know you're torn apart by dogs or something really horribly violent but there's something very oppressive about it as well mm -hmm. so it's 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 definitely affecting but in a different way i'd say all right well yeah thanks for talking to us about inside it sounds like a lot of fun to be honest i wouldn't say it's fun exactly it's definitely interesting i think like if you if you got a lot out of limbo the experience of playing limbo then it will be something that you en enjoy i guess like it's not mm -hmm. it's certainly not a, not a gaming experience that you'd want to have every day but it's story-wise I'm, I'm glad that it's that it exists and i think that there will be a lot of uh people pouring over various theories about what's actually going on um so i'll look forward to reading those well it certainly piqued my interest and if it's piqued your interest you can like and subscribe for plenty more eurogamer videos uh, and there should be some other videos on screen right now for you to check out if you'd like uh in the meantime thanks very much Aoife. that was fun Yay.